Hello YouTube, this is Nelson from SoCal Low Self Viper Team. I know I haven't been doing like a lot of content in a long time, but I am back. Before we start, I'm going to start out with some like info. Remember, favorite, like, and subscribe. And shout out to Tank the Tankster, with, also known as August. He's running a giveaway right now, so you should check out his channel. So, these are some mods you can do to the KMP9 to make it a lot more better. First, oh, wait. also, I'm not responsible for any stupidity you do. If you break your warranty or break your gun, I'm not responsible for that. It's your fault. Okay, so first, there's a little screw right here. So screw it using a flathead. So screw this part. Pop, up, pop it out. Don't lose the, the screw. Just put it in somewhere safe. Just pops and right off. Watch out for the spring, which is holding onto the spring guide. That off for you guys. There we go. Perfect. Nothing happened. Okay. This is going to be a high speed mod. To all those gas gun techs out there, you probably know what it's called. It's called short stroking. Basically, what you do is let me zoom up for you. Okay, so right here, like if you ever seen like the video for like the coin mod or whatever, this is basically the same kind of deal. Right here, there should be a little rubber plate right here, right there. Little plastic piece, little rubber piece in front of it. Basically, all you can, all you have to do is either glue a piece of foam or add some coins. Not recommended because it can damage your boat really easily. I prefer you use foam because first, it's better for your boat, of course. Less wear and tear in the back of the boat. And it's still the same performance. So basically all you have to do, cut out a little piece of foam whatever size you can also layer up unless you want to use coins and foam put coins here and then put your foam on top of that so that's basically all you have to do with the high speed mod super glue a piece of foam to the rubber in the back or add coins and then add your rubber your foam onto the rubber backs up so yeah, that's the first part. Putting it back is pretty simple. All you have to do, align it with the front. Drop it down, straight down. In the back, you'll have to push this little spring guide in. There. Push that in. And your entire top receiver should just pop back into place. Next, all you have to do to reassemble it, grab your screw, put it back in. Make sure it's nice and tight. Another way to remedy a problem is, have you ever shot your MP9 and have gas shoot out in your face? Yeah, it happens a lot and it's worse than propane when you can smell it and it's all over your face. It's kind of nasty. What you can do is add clay around, here let me take this off for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. I'll re-add something else. This is where all the gas leaks out, this little spring guide in the back right here right there. 
that's where a lot of the gas can leak out and shoot into your face it's really annoying all you guys really have to do is add clay around here you know clay or you can always just nice hefty load of tape just seal it all around so there's no way gas can leak out of that little area so yep that was the high speed mod and some other little tips you can do also I've seen this happen too much it's not good when you pull back on the mp9 charging handle you can see you can squeeze it and then pull it back like that squeeze it pull it back you don't want to just like you can get back like that and rip it out it's one of a big problem in the mp9 and i will address this in a different video so remember favor like subscribe and check out august and his youtube channel link will be in the description and so yeah have a good day